let's examine an example of calculating real prices. The difference between what $200 can buy in 2010 and what it could have bought in 2002 can be captured by converting that $200 from a nominal value to a real value. What does that mean? Nominal values are the prices we see every day when we go to the store. They are also the value we see in our bank accounts, on our paychecks, or that we quote when we sell something to others informally. In nominal prices, what you see is what you get. Real values are more abstract. A real value transforms a nominal value by taking into consideration changes in the price level over time. Therefore, a real value is always relative to some other time period other than the present, which is not true of nominal values. So if I walk into a store and a loaf of bread costs one dollar, that is the nominal value. I can say that the loaf of bread costs only 50 cents in real terms, but only by looking at the prices from a past year. Confused? Let's go back to our healthcare example. Remember that, according to the budget at the beginning of this guide, Inini spent $100 on health in 2002 and $200 in 2010. Those are nominal values. They are the numbers in the budget books and the actual cash used. But, as we saw, we cannot compare $100 in 2002 to $200 in 2010 directly because there have been changes in the price level. In order to account for this, we have to convert $200 into a real value in 2002 prices. Now, a key point. If the price level has risen, as it usually does over time, the real value will always be less than the nominal value. This is because what a consumer can really buy with the same money has declined over time. Let's return to our example. If the price level has increased between 2002 and 2010 by three times, meaning that goods and services are three times as expensive in 2010 as in 2002, what is the real value of the 2010 budget figure of $200 compared to 2002 prices? Well, a dollar in 2010 is actually only worth one-third of what it was in 2002. So that means that $200 is only worth one-third of what it was in 2002. And therefore, the real value of $200 in 2010 is only about $66. We can now directly compare this number to the nominal value in 2002, which was $100. Why can we do this? Because the nominal value of something in 2002 is the same as its real value in 2002. This makes sense, since the nominal value of something in 2002 is already given in 2002 prices, converting it to 2002 prices does not affect it. Think of it this way. If it is 2002 and I hand you a dollar, how many dollars is that worth at 2002 prices on that day in 2002? One, of course. To return to our example, with a tripling of the price level between 2002 and 2010, if we looked at the government of Inini's health budget over time in real prices, we can see the following. So, relative to the price level, Inini's health budget has gone down between 2010 and 2002. This makes sense because, as we saw before, the goods and services that you could purchase in 2010 was less than what you could purchase in 2002, even though the budget had gone up. The fact that you could only buy less items in 2010 means that the real value went down.